Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be learning about the origin, insertion, nerve supply and action of the muscles of the body. Now let's look at the muscles of the arm on the anterior aspect. We have the coracobrachialis, the biceps brachii and the brachialis muscle. To remember this, we can use the word BBC. Let's begin with the coracobrachialis muscle. It originates from the tip of the coracoid process of the scapula. In order to remember this, we can relate the word coracoid with the coraco of the coracobrachialis. This is the coracoid process and the coracobrachialis originates from the tip of the coracoid process right here. Moving on to the insertion, the coracobrachialis is inserted into the middle 5 cm of the medial border of the humerus. This is the medial border of the humerus. The coracobrachialis is inserted into the middle 5 cm of the medial border of the humerus that is right here. The white area represents the area of the insertion of the coracobrachialis. Now as a whole, the coracobrachialis originates from the tip of the coracoid process right here and it inserts into the middle 5 cm of the medial border of the humerus right here. That is, it originates from here and inserts right here. This is the coracobrachialis muscle. It originates from the tip of the coracoid process right here and inserts into the middle 5 cm of the medial border of the humerus right here. Moving on to the nerve supply, the coracobrachialis is supplied by the musculocutaneous nerve. An easy way to remember this is the fact that all the three muscles of the anterior aspect of the arm are supplied by the musculocutaneous nerve. Now the action of the coracobrachialis is that it flexes the arm at the shoulder. This is the flexion of the arm. Next let's move on to the biceps brachii. It originates from two heads that is a short head and the long head. The short head originates from the tip of the coracoid process while the long head originates from the supraglonoid tubercle of the scapula. In order to remember this we can remember the short head since it is small or short it originates from the same place of origin as that of the coracobrachialis that is the tip of the coracoid process and since the long head is larger or long it originates from another place that is the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. The short head of the biceps brachii originates from the tip of the coracoid process right here and the long head originates from the supraglenoid tubercle as you can see right here. Moving on to its insertion, the biceps brachii is inserted into the posterior rough part of the radial tuberosity of the radius. This is the radial tuberosity and the biceps brachii is inserted into the rough posterior part of the radial tuberosity. Now as a whole, the biceps brachii originates from two heads. The short head originates from the tip of the coracoid process. The long head originates from the supraglenoid tubercle right here. They originate from here and they insert right here onto the rough posterior part of the radial tuberosity that you can see right here. It crosses the humerus and reaches the radius. This is the biceps brachii. The short head originates from the tip of the coracoid process right here. The long head originates from the supraglenoid tubercle. Both of these together insert into the rough posterior part of the radial tuberosity right here. Now looking at its nerve supply, the biceps brachii is supplied by the musculocutaneous nerve. Moving on to its action, the biceps brachii is a strong supinator and the flexor of the elbow. The short head is the flexor of the arm while the long head prevents the upward displacement of the head of the humerus. Moving on to the next muscle, we have the brachialis. It originates from the lower half of the front of the humerus including the anteromedial, anterolateral surfaces and the anterior border of the humerus. The brachialis originates from the lower half of the front of the humerus from the anterolateral, anteromedial and anterior border of the humerus that you can see right here. 
Moving on to its insertion, the brachialis is inserted into the coronoid process and ulna tuberosity and the rough anterior surface of the coronoid process of the ulna. Now an easy way to remember this is that as the biceps brachii was inserted into the radius, the brachialis is inserted into the ulna. The brachialis is inserted into the coronoid process and the ulna tuberosity as you can see right here. Now as a whole, the brachialis originates from the lower half of the anterior surface of the humerus that includes the anterolateral surface, the anteromedial surface and the anterior border and inserts into the coronoid process right here and the ulna tuberosity as you can see right here. This is the brachialis muscle. It originates from the lower half of the anterior surface of the humerus from the anterolateral, anteromedial and anterior border of the humerus and inserts into the ulna tuberosity and the coronoid process of the ulna right here. Looking at its nerve supply, the brachialis is supplied by the musculocutaneous nerve which gives it motor supply while the radial nerve gives it a proprioceptive supply. But it is mainly supplied by the musculocutaneous nerve just like the biceps brachii and the coracobrachialis. The actions of the brachialis include that it flexes the forearm at the elbow joint. It flexes the forearm at the elbow joint. Moving on to the muscles of the posterior aspect of the arm, we have the triceps brachii. It has three heads of origin, that is the long head, the lateral head and the medial head. The long head originates from the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. The lateral head originates from the oblique ridge on the upper part of the posterior surface of the humerus, while the medial head originates from the large triangular area on the posterior surface of the humerus below the radial groove. The long head of the triceps originates from the infraglenoid tubercle right here. The lateral head that you can see right here originates from the oblique ridge on the upper part of the posterior surface of the humerus right here. The medial head originates from the large triangular area on the posterior surface of the humerus below the radial groove right here. Moving on to the insertion of the triceps brachii, the long and the lateral heads converge to form a flattened tendon which is inserted into the posterior part of the superior surface of the olecranon process of the ulna. Now the medial head is partly inserted into the superficial tendon and partly into the olecranon. Now an additional information is that the medial head is separated from the capsule by a bursa. Few fibers are inserted into the part of the capsule. This prevents nipping of the capsule during extension of the arm. These fibers are called the articularis cubiti or the subanconius. This is the ulna. This is the olecranon process. And the long and the lateral heads of the triceps converge to form a flattened tendon which is inserted into the posterior part of the superior surface of the olecranon process right here. The medial head of the triceps is partly inserted into the superficial tendon and partly into the olecranon. Moving on to the nerve supply, the triceps is supplied by the radial nerve. Each head, that is the long head, the lateral head and the medial head, receives a separate branch from the radial nerve. Moving on to the action, it is a powerful and active extensor of the elbow. The long head supports the head of the humerus in the abducted position of the arm. The triceps is a powerful extensor of the elbow. As a whole, the triceps originates from three heads. The long head originates from the infraglenoid tubercle right here. The lateral head originates from the oblique ridge right here. The medial head originates from the rough triangular surface just below the radial groove right here. And all of this inserts into the rough posterior surface of the superior surface of the olecranon process of the ulna right here. This is the long head of the triceps. This is the medial head while this is the lateral head of the triceps brachii. The long head of the triceps originates from the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. It inserts into the superior surface of the olecranon process of the ulna. Moving on to the medial head of the triceps, it originates from the lower triangular area 
of the posterior surface of the humerus right here and it inserts into the superior surface of the olecranon process of the ulna. Finally, the lateral head of the triceps brachii originates from the oblique ridge and it inserts into the olecranon process of the ulna. I hope you found this video helpful. To get updates on my latest videos, click on the subscribe button. To get notifications, tap on the bell icon. Thank you for watching.